We all love to blame EA for Titanfall not doing as well as we believe it should, but I got to thinking, what if it wasn't their fault? I know, I know, I'm crazy, but let me explain how I figured it out, because I know exactly who's at fault and how we can save the game. If you keep coming back to my videos, just subscribe already. It's no secret that the launch of Titanfall 2 was botched from the get-go. It didn't get the attention it deserved because EA fumbled the bag, bad advertising, whatever you want to put it on. But the crazy thing is that it never really got better. It's not uncommon for games to have a rocky start and then recover a little while later. Look at the Master Chief Collection, No Man's Sky, Cyberpunk 2077. That thing was a dumpster fire to begin with and it's recovered beautifully. But that never happened with Titanfall. After the start, the game was given every chance to succeed, but failed. Despite the game going on sale several times for as cheap as $5, the game never sustained any kind of significant player growth. The people that started playing it kept playing and eventually filtered down to just a couple thousand. The game would go on sale, player count would soar, but within a month or two it was back down to the same couple thousand players. Even though Respawn gave it quite a bit of post-launch support and additional content, I went on a quest to figure out why. Well, with the most recent sale, it was the perfect time for me to find the culprit, but I needed someone with a clean slate to help me. My friend Cody has never played Titanfall 2, and I couldn't wait to show him my favorite game slash use him as a lab rat. Say hi, Cody. Dude, I keep getting headshot by an ion across the map with a laser shot instantly. It's probably the same like, guy with the sniper. It, uh, it's obnoxious. I had a whole plan to teach him the nuances of the game. I narrowed it down to three categories he needed to learn. Loadout, movement, and titans. Very straightforward. But despite Cody being an extremely talented FPS player to begin with, it wasn't really clicking for him. All right, my goal today, Ethan, is to get one win. We should be able to do that, hopefully. I hope. But I make no promises. When we were, when, back when we were big in Siege, I hit fucking, what is it, Diamond, I think? I hit uh, Global Elite back when I played CSGO, long time ago. That was when I was like 15 and like cracked at literally everything in life, except for like women. We didn't let it break our spirits, but it did get me thinking. Despite the skill he already had, what made it so difficult for him to start topping the leaderboard? Each round, I found myself explaining why he lost specific engagements. This gun beats that gun while running is faster than sprinting. Certain loadouts will get you your Titan faster. It made me realize all these little things that I've been doing without even thinking about it. In reality, it's a very complex game with a huge learning curve. Getting around the map alone can be hours of dedicated tutorials. Anyone still playing this game has hundreds if not thousands of hours that they've spent optimizing every little bit of their gameplay. By focusing so much on winning in our niche little game, we've become so bitter at the thought of losing it that we made it extremely hard for new players to want to learn. It's not even about having fun anymore. Seriously, if you want to test it yourself, just open the game and play a bit. Pay attention to what loadouts the enemies are using. I guarantee that the majority of them will be car, spitfire, or alternator. And if you try to say something lighthearted or fun, someone will get upset in the game chat. The reason that Titanfall has never recovered or maintained a large player count is because we haven't given it the chance as players. On top of the usual toxicity that comes with online gaming, our community is extremely competitive and tends to not be very welcoming. I might not like you or care about your well-being, but I'll respect your wishes. The game's mechanics have a lot of depth and can be quite a challenge for new players as it is, but we only added to that challenge and siphon all the fun from anybody that wanted to give the game a chance. Why would you take the time to learn a new game if you're not having fun to begin with? Don't believe me? Hear from a new player. That guy literally, I say, it's hard to enjoy this game when sweats make it so new players can't play and learn. This is my second day of playing. And I'm like, no wonder the game is dying and it takes so long to get into a game just to be stomped out by sweats. And he goes, what do you mean? I play all day. The game isn't dying. You're just trash. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, dude, okay, 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 so one, that is exactly that, so you're you just, just a, a, you're just a, yeah, in all ways, in more ways than one, not only did you prove that you're the type of person who plays this game all day, and you sweat, but you're toxic towards new players who are trying to enjoy the game, and I wasn't calling anybody out, I made a statement, because someone else said something. Yeah, you weren't even talking specifically to no. him. <laughs> No, no. And then they, instead of saying anything constructive, go, you're just bad. Go play Ooh. Fortnite, kid. Get good. This is the reason why games like this die. It's, I, I'll tell you, the one thing that kills competitive play is the lack of, like, noob-friendly content and noob-friendly barriers in a game because you get games that are so 
especially any game that's like a second or third installment of a title and anyone that's trying to get into titanfall 2 now can't because the only people playing this game are the sweats and there is no barrier for new players so the new players are going to either a go play campaign or b just find another game to play but the good news is that it's still possible for us to save our beloved fps this was the turning point for me. This is where I decided to stop telling Cody how to play the game, what guns to use, and which titans were best. Instead I told him, pick whatever looks fun. And I did the same. That's why I have so much fun streaming to you all, is because Chad is always challenging me to try new guns, new titans, new strategies, or challenges. I have probably around a thousand hours in this game, and there's still guns and abilities I've hardly touched. I rarely use anything but grapple. For me, this applies to gaming as a whole, though. I've almost forgotten how to have fun, and it's started to become something I just do to kill time. There hasn't been that spark of joy from the things I'm experiencing. I think it's important to appreciate games for what they are. It's an extension of someone's imagination and creativity. You get to experience someone else's dream firsthand and appreciate the absurdity of what you see. All the tiny details are what make games beautiful. Now I'm not saying don't try to win, because I'm as competitive as it gets. But take some time to slow down and enjoy the moments. Teach new players, don't harass them. Either that, or don't blame anybody but yourself when your favorite game dies. Thank you for watching and making it all the way to the end. This video is a little bit heavier than what I normally do, so if you're just looking for something stupid to laugh at, check out one of these other videos.